Windmaster is a wind-powered vent designed to extract heat and moisture from the roof space of a home without the use of electrical energy. It can be ducted to specific rooms such as bathrooms, kitchens and laundries. In this video, we'll give you an overview of how to install Windmaster on a tiled roof. The advice given here is general and doesn't replace the detailed installation instructions provided with the product. Windmaster is a DIY ventilator that can usually be installed within one to two hours. However, we recommend consultation with a professional or licensed trade if you have a slate roof, if you suspect there might be asbestos in the roof, or if the vent will be installed onto a two-storey home. Before beginning, ensure you have the following tools and consumables. Finally, keep safety in mind when working at heights. Make sure the weather and roof conditions are safe and non-slip footwear is worn. First, select a suitable location, ensuring that the vent is no higher than the third row of tiles. There should be no rafters below it, although smaller battens may be cut away later. Remove the required tile, then if necessary, move or cut neighbouring tiles so that the vent throat is unobstructed. It may be necessary to cut away a small length of batten and or to cut away sarking. We also advise cutting a small section of the removed tile and returning it to position to help seal the flashing. Push the flashing under the tiles with the hole in the flashing at the centre of the space between the tiles. Using a rubber mallet, form the flashing into the contours of the tiles. Then form the front of the flashing over the edge of the tiles. Bend the upper edge of the flashing so that it meets the tiles above. Bend the fixing strap so that one end hooks over the front of the flashing. Form the other end onto a timber batten and nail or screw into place. Orient the very pitch so that the three notches are at the top. Adjust the very pitch to suit the roof angle by rotating the top section over the bottom section. Then rotate the whole very pitch. Place the very pitch onto the flashing, ensuring the fixing strap is covered. Use a spirit level to ensure the top is level in all directions and adjust accordingly. Secure the very pitch by inserting three screws into the pre-punched holes. Lock down the very pitch angle by fastening the open side of the very pitch clip with a self-tapping screw. Cut off any excess fixing strap. Apply the weatherproof sealant to the very pitch seam. Don't apply near the flashing as this joint forms a natural gutter to release trapped moisture. Place the turbine ring onto the very pitch so that it lines up with the three notches. Fasten the turbine by inserting the three provided screws into the pre-punched holes. And seal the flashing against the tiles using a weatherproof sealant. <laughs> 